O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 34. Mental Health Help. The following dialogue is related to Unit 5, Health, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 5.5. Mental Health. 5.6. Some Challenges for Newcomers. 5.7. When to Seek Help. 5.8. How can you help yourself and others? Obasi, Sadia, and other newcomers participate in a peer support group at the settlement organization. A mental health counselor talks with them about mental health or emotional well-being. Sadia and Obasi share challenges they have dealt with since coming to Canada and how they manage the stress that comes with moving to a new country. Welcome to the Newcomers Support Group, everyone. I see that we have some new people in the room today. So let me explain what this group is about. This group was created to give all of you a chance to talk about your experiences as newcomers in Canada and your experiences in your home and asylum countries before you arrived in Canada. Today's topic is well-being. Let us go around the room and discuss what well-being means. You can also share how you have been managing your new life here in Canada. Maybe you can talk about how it has been adapting to all the new things in Canada and how these new things have affected you. All newcomers face challenges when they arrive, so it is important to talk about them. What are some of the things you have had a hard time with since you have arrived? Obasi raises his hand. Yes, go ahead. Well, getting used to the weather has been difficult for me. It was late October when I arrived. I had never even seen snow before, and suddenly it was so cold. I thought my fingers were going to freeze and fall off. Everyone in my family felt the weather was harsh. Yes, it is especially difficult for newcomers arriving when it is cold, if you have not experienced very cold weather before. How did you feel during your first few weeks? I have my whole family with me, and all of them needed help from me. My youngest one and my wife needed medical attention, so it was stressful going to medical appointments with them. At the same time, I also had to look for a place for us to live. On top of that, my English was not so good, so it was hard getting used to the local community. The whole experience was overwhelming. How did you deal with this feeling of stress? What did you do? Well, I had to learn about Canada and my community so that I can deal with things my family encounters. The settlement worker helping me at my government-funded organization helped me sign up for language classes. Taking actions and making progress does help. I have a friend, Ali, and his problems were different. He landed in Quebec, and he has no family with him, and he said he felt lonely. He said because it gets dark so early in winter, he was scared to go out. It was isolating, especially because he moved there by himself. Yes, it does get dark early in winter. What did your friend do to manage his feelings of isolation? He enrolled in a local language program and was able to make friends through school. At first, he was worried that starting over in a new community would be hard and that he would not make any friends. But he met some great people who were also new to Canada. Now he spends time cooking, and spends time outdoors with them when the weather is nice. It has helped him feel a lot less lonely. That is great to hear. 
Spending time with other people, especially with good food around, is a very good way to deal with difficult feelings. Would anyone else like to share their experiences? For me, it has been hard to make new friends so far. I've been too busy. I miss my family and friends back home. I am a single parent with two children. I am studying tourism in a college and working a part-time job because I want to earn some money to send money to my sister back home. The financial support I receive helps me, but it is only enough to cover my family's basic expenses here in Canada. My sister has an illness, and I think about her a lot. I feel very bad about leaving her. That seems very distressing. I am sorry that your sister is ill. That is very nice of you to say. Thank you. It has also been hard for my kids. When they started at their new school, they had a hard time with their classes and with making friends. One is a teenager now, and the other is still in elementary school. But because I have to work and go to school, I have to ask my older child to take care of her younger brother. I am so busy that I feel it is difficult to spend time with them. Even when I do find time to connect with them, they do not always open up to me. I think they resent that I work so much, which worries me. I understand. Starting life in a new country can be difficult and it takes time to adjust. But just like there are counselors available here, there are also mental health services available for children. They can call 1-800-668-6868. Perhaps we can find a counselor for them, so they can talk about their feelings too. You can also look into childcare options, so you can leave your younger child with a daycare service for a few hours in the day. That way, you do not have to always rely on your eldest daughter. What is that phone number again for mental health services for children? I will write it down. 1-800-668-6868. Thank you. What do you mean by mental health? Mental health refers to how you feel, think, and behave as you cope with life. It also refers to how you handle stress, anger, and sadness. Anyone can experience mental health issues. They affect people of all genders, ages, education, income levels, and cultures. In any one year, one in five people in Canada will personally experience a mental health issue. By age 40, about 50% of the population will have or have had a mental health issue. Wow, that is a lot of people. Yes, it is. It is very common for people to seek help for mental health, just like we go see a doctor for a flu or an injury. You need to keep in mind that it is normal to feel many emotions while going through periods of change, like settling into a new place. What kinds of emotions do you mean? Well, in addition to what you have shared, feelings of loneliness, isolation, and stress, there is also frustration and anger, exhaustion, loss of appetite, sleeplessness or having bad dreams or flashbacks, thoughts of self-harm or death. You can always speak to your family doctor, nurse, or social worker for help if these feelings of emotional pain are affecting your daily life. Yes, it is a good thing that I did. It is normal to feel stress while adjusting, but it is important to remember that even if you are stressed, family violence is illegal in Canada. This includes abuse, neglect, or acts of violence committed towards any family members, such as a child, a child-in-law, a partner, or an elder. Yes, 
The Canadian Orientation Abroad facilitator explained this in the orientation before coming to Canada. That is good. But if you know of any other newcomers who are feeling angry, sad, or worried about their situation, feel free to bring them along to these group sessions too. In the meantime, would you like to talk about your emotions and the things that you have been experiencing through all of this? I feel tired and stressed a lot of the time. I get stomach pains and feel dizzy sometimes. My sponsor gave me the phone number of a social worker. The social worker said I should go to a doctor. At the doctor's office, they did some tests, but did not find anything. When I told them about the stress, we talked about the fact that this could be the cause of my stomach pain and dizziness. So, she referred me to a mental health specialist. I am waiting for them to call me to schedule an appointment with the specialist. But they said it can take time. They also suggested that I go online or call 211 to find out about the well-being services offered. I like the idea of a support group. I think I can meet other people here and find a community. That is good. Talking to people about any difficulties you are having is the first step to helping yourself, like when you contacted someone you trust. And you made a very important connection right there. Your emotional health and mental health is as important as your physical health. And the two are related, so it is important to take care of both. Just as you would seek medical assistance if you have a problem with your body, it is also important to seek help if you are experiencing mental health concerns. Now, let us talk about some activities to lessen your stress. Activities that are relaxing and bring joy. Can you think of any examples? Well, I found spending time outdoors with my friends relaxing. Also, helping others takes my mind off feeling sad, stressed, and lonely. Every Saturday, I help my friends with activities at the community center. That is great. The outdoors provides you with fresh air and sunshine that can improve your mood. Even in winter, it is important to get outside your home and to stay active, like going sledding or for walks. Helping others can bring great joy, too. Praying helps me. I also call my family back home often. Technology is a blessing for this. It is good that you are able to keep in touch with your loved ones. Connecting with people is a great way of not only maintaining relationships, but also sharing our emotions about what we are going through in our lives. It is easier to do that if they are people you trust. And praying, meditating, or saying simple statements about positive things surrounding you in your life or goals you have for the future, these can give you a sense of inner peace. I think we can also try doing some hobbies with my children. You are right. Hobbies like painting with your children are also a very good idea. Making time for yourself to do something that you enjoy, like creating something or reading a book, is very helpful. Some other examples of relaxing activities that can help you lessen your stress levels are eating healthy, playing sports or exercising, practicing aspects of your culture, focusing on positive aspects of life. What are some new activities that you think you would like to try out this week? There is a community center in my neighborhood that I've been wanting to join. They have group fitness classes and a basketball court. I might try to organize an afternoon with my friends where we play basketball together. For me, there are some people in my language class that get together after class to share a meal together. Everyone cooks and brings something. I have never gone before, 
because I cannot be away from my children for too long. But I may ask them if I can bring my children. I think some of them have children themselves. Both of you have great ideas. For the dinner, you may be able to set up a shared babysitting arrangement with your classmates. That way, you can get time for yourself and the children can also meet other kids too. Yes, that sounds nice. I would like to be able to do that with them. It would be a way for me to start making new friends in this new community. Exactly. All right, great session, everyone. I will see you next week. And I am looking forward to hearing all of your stories about what relaxing activities you did during the week. End of dialogue unit.